Long Day 344. a little stressed out this morning for two reasons. One, remember that English teaching job that I originally came here for and then didn't have work for me? Well, they've got a little bit of work for me. So I'll be going into teaching classes on Monday and Tuesday, basically just with the preparation that they've sent me. It's a little bit stressful just because I'm not super prepared, um, but also just because I want to make a good impression. I'm just kind of jumping into the middle of what they're already doing. Secondly, uh, my phone carrier has decided it no longer wants to uh, give me service. So. I did pay my bill. It was late. It was late because some, there was some problem with my card. I went in and I paid it. My bank says that the money went out, but the phone company is not acknowledging that the money came in. I'm pretty much relying on Wi-Fi. Although I think I might be able to text still. So I'll have to keep trying that. We'll see. But uh, as far as internet goes, <laughs> done. Anyways, you got a bus to catch. Thankfully I have plantain chips to eat still from yesterday, so that's good. But I'm really hoping to get some of that ham and cheese bread, if it's a real thing. If not, we'll just eat something else, but I want to get to the bread party with time to get ham and cheese bread. Also, at some point we're going to have to talk about the whole vlog situation. I'm coming up on a year, and what does that mean? Where do we go from there? Other things. I still haven't done the vision and goal board yet. It's just been really busy and stressful, but if I can get through Tuesday, I think we'll be good. If this thing can get through a bus ride, I think it'll be really good. Sundays in Paris are always nice because they're always really quiet. Which is a nice change from things. It's a good change. Ooh, that's a lot of tin tin. However, my main fear this morning is that the bread party might have stopped. So there's that giant tent. We looked at it yesterday, but basically it literally says fête à pain, fête de pain, fête de pain, which means party of bread. It's the bread party, which was really exciting. And they opened it yesterday and I didn't have time to go in and try to get something. So today, I think it was Paul who was telling me there was a ham and cheese bread that one of them makes, at least that they did last year. That's what I'm after this morning. I'm very hungry, so we'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe I won't. Look at these. The bread party's still rocking. No ham and cheese bread, that's the saddest part. But they had mini croissants, mini croissants, pain au chocolat and pain au raisin and a brioche with chocolate. Uh, I just got a little selection of tiny pastries and that'll have to do. It's also the inauguration today, the presidential inauguration. The French move quickly. It's nice that they can just jump right in, so. Have a new president by the end of the day, and then we'll see what happens from there. It's kind of a small yard for a dog. So cute. The size of that screen, holy cow, it's amazing. Camera arms. Regular cameras. They had a real party here yesterday with that Euro party. I don't know if I filmed anything in there actually. Uh, I'm gonna go do laundry. That's my goal, ultimately. Laundry is my goal. This is madness. This whole not having a phone service thing not okay, I'm kinda sick of it. I am going to have to try and get that figured out though because internet's sort of important to have and I've paid for it, but they're not registering that I have paid for it, so. Anyways, I'm going to go try to do laundry and then I'm gonna go meet my buddy Emily for a beer at the, what was it, Brewberry we went to yesterday with Josh and Katie. Also, this film is no surprise to any of you, but I have not eaten since the tiny little 
Pano Chocolat and croissant combination that I ate earlier, so we should probably take care of that at some point too. Things are kind of a hot mess over here thanks to the inauguration, so hopefully uh, we can get through here all right. A few interesting things about the election, uh, about Macron in particular, he's the youngest to ever be elected president in France, which is interesting. He's also an independent, uh, so they're not sure how he's going to align himself when it comes time to do so with the legislature. And the legislature is another interesting thing because their election happens in June and no idea how it's going to affect his ability to govern because we don't really have a track record to go off of. I don't know. He's new. He's never held public office before. So while there's relief that Le Pen didn't get elected, there's certainly no certainty as to how things are going to go from there. Look at all those cops over there. Holy cow. Absolute, oh, excuse me, absolute madhouse. Uh, so I'm being diverted. I'm wondering if I can go around this way. But they're saying that it's closed down there entirely. I'm gonna try and go around this way, it's more interesting. I don't wanna walk back. And there goes the new president. Cool. Well, after all that madness, I'm gonna be lucky to get food. So I'll have time for food. I'm gonna be able to find that. I was really hoping to do laundry though, too. So, uh, that's not gonna happen now. Hi. Hi. Happy Mother's Day.